So here we are in GarageBand. Um, I'm gonna make this tutorial as fast as I possibly can. I've already done all the work and all my actions have already been set. Only thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna scroll through my actions and explain what I've done. I had a friend of mine on Google Plus had sent me over a video. He was looking to um, you know edit some video and basically the video that he had he didn't necessarily care for the um, audio on the video. So let me go back to the original. So this is the original. I'm going to play a little bit for you here. All right. So, you know, doesn't sound bad, but he has a file that's a little bit more clearer. So therefore, you know, like I said, he shot me over the, you know, the audio. I pulled the video off of YouTube. I've lost a little bit of clarity, but, you know, it seems as if my friend on Google Plus is more uh, concerned with the sound of the video more of the than the audio I mean than the the video portion itself he wants to make sure that it sounds really good so that's what I've done so let me go through my actions here I'm gonna hit command shift Z to go forward and I pulled the audio off the video here now what I did was I came over here and I took the the, the um, audio that he sent me and I just drug it in right over in here and dropped it in and the same thing with the video here I just dropped the video over here in GarageBand drag and drop so let's keep going forward here and I dropped it in okay GarageBand alright so you know and I lined it up now when I got it all lined up Basically, what I did was I listened to it, and what I was looking for to match up the sound here was the drums, because the audio that he sent me doesn't necessarily match the video now, because it's a different audio take versus the video. So here's what it looks like, and here's what it sounds like. Let me make this a little bigger for you here. And you notice how everything is off. The band starts playing, but my buddy there is still sitting at his drums. So... What I did within my actions here was, I hope I didn't mess anything up, Control Shift Z, going forward, what I did was I created a new pane here and I called it Audio 2. And you can come down here and you can click this right here and you can select anyone, it doesn't matter, real instrument, guitar, which is basically just going to create a new pane here. And once I'd done that, I took this audio right here and I drug it down. And then what I did was I found where he hit the drums so let's go over here let's bring this back up so as soon as he hit those drums that's what I was looking for okay so it's still a little off okay so I had to move it over one over there get it all lined up let's play it again okay that wasn't it either go forward a few more actions and you'll see where I got it lined up perfect you see where he hit those drums there? Let's go ahead and start it over here again. Perfect. I'm looking at the drum beats. So now I have mastered the audio and the video. The audio that did not originally go with this video here, I've pasted the two together so to speak. So now what I'm going to do, you know, and this is going to end this tutorial here for uh, GarageBand as far as matching up audio, but basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over and I'm going to um, grab, um, go into iMovie, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a title on here, the name of his band, and you know, cut this piece off right here. There's a little bit of a piece at the end here uh, that, you know, you know, I make my out point there, but if I pull that out point over just a little bit, you'll notice that uh, being said that the audio is different now, it gets cut off where he's moving around or whatever the case may be. So I'm going to just cut that part as well. And that's pretty much it. Pretty simple. Pretty easy. Very, very, very simple. I try to do these things as fast as possible and effective as possible. And I also will be getting into doing some one-on-one -on -one coaching as far as the Mac and uh, different things as far as helping people out, new Mac users, old Mac users. If you just want to understand this thing better, a lot of times we have problems, we have issues, but we don't necessarily know how to cor correct them 
but we have the tools in our hands and you know I just kind of learned how to swing the hammer when it comes to GarageBand and almost every program on the Mac here and I just want to just help you out as much as I possibly can so other than that thanks for watching make sure you subscribe make sure you comment and add me on all the networks if you can't find me on the networks you know you're looking in the wrong place but Freedom McFly everywhere Facebook Google Twitter everywhere alright thank you and have a great day goodbye Thank <laughs> you.